The next look at the Breath of the Wild sequel could finally be upon us on the 15th. And I know y'all are as hype as I am, so... This video is strictly about the game and a major plot point that I believe could also be in it. The Gerudos are a big part of Breath of the Wild's world. They travel around to sell things or they travel around to find mates. They live in a male-free zone where you still can't enter even after saving the village, freeing the divine beast, solving all of the village's problems, and saving all of Hyrule. And this just shows how the Gerudo stick to the rules publicly because a ton of them do know who and what you really are. You know, you go to the village and you generally have a good time. The inhabitants are nice for the most part and, and these people are strong. They have warriors ready to fight when they need to. And they train most of the day, so why will they be some of the main enemies that you'll be facing in the next game? Good question, huh? Let's go way back to the Ocarina of Time. The Gerudo Fortress, it, it was a no-no. Under the rule of Ganondorf, the Gerudo wanted no one in. And they were ready to fight if someone tried. But that didn't mean that people didn't oppose the rules as well. As we all know, the divine beast Vanaboris is named for the sage awakened in the adult timeline, Naburu. You had to fight her after she was captured and brainwashed and used in Ganondorf's schemes. Even though the general population didn't need to be brainwashed to fold the Ganondorf's will, you know, it was still an option. But Ganondorf has power at his command, and that's enough to make people bow before him. Now it's known, the Gerudo know that Ganondorf is tied to them even in the present day. And now he's back. I don't think the Gerudo people will back away from trying to right the wrong that is Ganondorf once and for all. But as we've seen before, Ganondorf is a force to be reckoned with. You know, he's had Bogoblins galore and those things are nothing compared to the army that he could use in this game. The Gerudo themselves. Ganondorf using the Gerudos as a weapon against Link is highly likely, I feel. Riju is very young and she's very loved in the town. She is a great piece of leverage that Ganondorf could use to have the rest of them under his control. It makes perfect sense. It would definitely be an interesting twist. Instead of the Yiga clan to try and sneak through, Ganondorf could very well turn Gerudo Village into a fortress of some kind. You know, and it, it kind of can be a callback to the Ocarina of Time days. Not exactly the same, you know, because you don't want it to be annoying. But it would be really cool because technically they aren't your enemies. And they can make the interactions there deeper than, you know, you get attacked when you're spotted or kicked out. This can be a significant combat challenge as well. Since these enemies are well trained and can actually wield a sword or a spear. It could also mark the return of two amazing Zelda enemies. The Dark Nut and the Iron Knuckle. As we all know the Iron Knuckle ended up being Noboru herself. And I think the Iron Knuckle will face in the new game will be Baliara. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Baliara. Baliara. Riju's Captain of the Guard. She will give you an amazing boss fight, that's for sure. And some of the captains can become the new Dark Nuts and operate similar to how they worked in Twilight Princess. You know, you, you can beat the armor off of them and kind of see what they are underneath. However, defeating them could give you a chance to help them instead of just the usual ending of an enemy. And it would be a nice change of pace for sure. I can see passing Gerudo or maybe a patrolling one actively trying to take you down and not doing the whole stand in disguise thing that the Yiga did sometimes. I I'm not gonna lie, I really, really want to see this. It could be amazing. I 100% feel the Gerudo are gonna play a different role in this game, especially with the spell or whatever that is from the first teaser trailer that we got. My first video on this page was actually about the eight heroines and how I think that they're gonna tie into the next game, so, I'll put a link so that you can check that out because it's a pretty interesting video. I, I hope it's an interesting video to you guys. We'll see. So that's it, man. That wraps it up, y'all. Hopefully, we get to find out more on the 15th. I really want to know what you guys think, so please leave me a comment. 
I really do love interacting with you guys. It's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. All right. Peace.